This is Armstrong, and this video we're looking at monoclonal antibodies. So first of all, we need to look at how to make monoclonal antibodies. As some white blood cells, known as lymphocytes, make antibodies, yet they cannot divide. Now in contrast, tumour cells do not make antibodies, yet they can divide rapidly to make a clone of cells. Now seeing as all mammals make lymphocytes, and that includes mice, these mice lymphocytes can be combined with a type of tumour cell to make a hybridoma. Now single hybridoma cells divide to make a larger number of identical cells that all produce antibodies. Now these antibodies are then collected and purified and these are called monoclonal antibodies. So we can use these monoclonal antibodies for many things and I'm going to go through each of these things now. So firstly we have diagnosis of disease. Now monoclonal antibodies are made to bind to a specific antigen which is found on the pathogen, blood clots or cancer cells. The monoclonal antibodies may also carry markers and this means it is easier for doctors to detect illnesses. For example, the blood test for prostate cancer uses monoclonal antibodies to bind to the prostate specific antigens. You can also use them to measure and monitor as monoclonal antibodies can also be used in hospitals and laboratories to measure and monitor hormone levels and other chemicals in the blood. So this means that they can detect doping in sports and infections such as syphilis. Monoclonal antibodies can also be used for research as they can locate or identify specific molecules in a cell or tissue. And when the monoclonal antibodies bind to the desired molecules, scientists can observe what's happening by the buildup of fluorescence. They're also used in pregnancy tests as pregnancy tests rely on monoclonal antibodies that bind to the hormone human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG for short, and this is produced in the early stages of the pregnancy. So tiny amounts of this hormone are passed out in the body in urine, and monoclonal antibodies in the pregnancy test bind to this hormone if it's present, and that's how we work out whether someone is pregnant. You can also use them for treating disease. Now, monoclonal antibodies can be used to trigger the immune system into recognizing, attacking, and destroying cancer cells. Monoclonal antibodies can also block receptors on the surface of cancer cells to stop them from growing and dividing. They can also be used to carry toxic drugs or radioactive substances for radiation therapy, whilst they can also carry chemicals that stop cells growing and dividing without harming the other cells in the body. This is often very beneficial because in conventional drug treatment, the chemicals are carried around the whole body and they can have a devastating effect on healthy cells as well as the cancer cells. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.